to me, the rocks is a very spiritual place. For me, it's like the hearts of Sydney, beginning of Sydney. There's two forms of history meeting here. How can we imagine ourselves as being here for a blip of time relative to the Indigenous people who are the Aboriginal people who were here before us? I am Morris Goldberg. I'm half of Goldberg Abilene Studio. Saltwater Country is a homage to the people who have been here for hundreds of generations. We wanted to do a work in collaboration with a, an extraordinary Indigenous elder, Graham Toomey. This was the first contact. This is uh, an historic place for many reasons. I still feel the presence of the Gadigal people. This opportunity was about combining two worlds, two cultures together. There's white man's Western history and there's Indigenous history. I'm interested in the history of the rocks as a site in Sydney, how important these small little passageway spaces were for inhabitants to move between different buildings. My name is Rochelle Haley and I'm an artist who works with painting, installation, performance and also in public spaces. The artwork, The Nurses Walk, is really responsive to the lighting conditions in the space. The morning light and the afternoon light really come into the arcade in special ways and interact with the materials of the artwork. And then at night time it's lit in such a way that it's really reflective and scintillating. My artwork is called Spirits Make Noise. It's a celebration and acknowledgement to Aboriginal female ancestors, past, present and future. Hi, I'm Madison Gibbs. I'm a Barkindji woman from Dubbo, New South Wales. Today we are on Gadigal country, Talawalada, also known as The Rocks. So I hope people feel connected to country. I hope they engage with the work on a deeper level and think about what was on this site. And, you know, there's more than the colonial history here. There's a lot of rivers and streams that are here. Now, you wouldn't know it, but they lie beneath. My name is Jason Wing. I'm a descendant from the Biripai mob. So with my mural, I'm trying to educate people about the story of Pemawoy. Pemawoy was a Bidjigal man, famously known for leading a 12-year resistance campaign against the frontier wars. He was a real man, but he had supernatural powers. He was shot several times taken to jail, locked up, and in the morning, nothing was found in the cell except for crow feathers. When I heard about I could do something in the rocks, I was very excited. My name is Vincent Bure. I am a, call myself a designer. I work mainly on furniture, but I also extend my range to lights and high sculptures. The main idea of this concept is it's not the artwork, it's not the place, it's the people passing by. And when you pass by, you are part of it. I kind of want everyone to just do their own thing. Yeah, if other people just can create something about it, I would be a win for me, yeah.